Hi, my name is Ian Davidson, founder of Biologic Systems, LLC. We're here today in Penn Valley, California on a cool spring day to talk about how to use the BioBrewer 55. I'd like to invite you to visit us on our website at biologicsystemsusa.com to learn more about our equipment and services, as well as more about soil biology in general. Now we're going to take a look at how to assemble the BioBrewer 55. So the first thing you're going to want to do is double check to make sure that your brewer came with all of its parts. So on the uh, instructional card here, it's going to list all the parts that should come in the brewer. Now that we've checked to make sure we have all the parts, we're going to go ahead and assemble the BioBrewer 55. Uh, the most important thing to start out with is that the barrel is on a flat surface. So since we are here on a hillside, we went ahead and shimmed up the barrel a little bit in order to level it. Okay. So now we have the barrel in place, we're going to go ahead and add in the parts. So we'll start from the bottom of the brewer. Insert the first bulkhead adapter into the barrel from the back side. You're going to put the rubber gasket on the inside of the barrel and the, the brittle hard plastic gasket goes on the outside. And uh, these fittings uh, thread reverse direction as you'll notice. And you can just attach the fittings hand tight. Next we'll attach the ball valve by threading that into the bulkhead adapter. This PVC fitting threads onto the inside of the barrel and extends down to the bottom of the barrel. Next we're going to attach the other bulkhead fitting into the lid of the barrel. Again, making sure that the rubber gasket is on the inside of the lid. Insert the fitting. Don't forget the gasket there. And once again, uh, thread down that reverse thread fitting uh, hand tight. Next, you'll take the male cam lock fitting Screw that into the top of the lid. That's where the air pump will connect. Next, we'll attach the line strainer. The stainless steel mesh screen goes inside the strainer and screw down the cap snugly. Attach the cam lock fitting to the bottom of the barrel and turn off the valve making sure that it's closed. Next we're going to attach the air stem and on the bottom of the stem we add this little small PVC fitting and that's going to cam lock right onto the bottom side of your lid. When you place the lid into the barrel, you're going to want to make sure that that PVC fitting on the bottom of the air stem points directly towards the outside of the barrel wall. Next, we'll attach the fittings onto the SureFlow pump by simply threading them on. Then cam lock connect the line strainer onto the SureFlow pump. Next, connect the yellow cam lock fitting to your garden hose and clip it on to the SureFlow pump. This fitting allows for easy connection and disconnection of your garden hose between uses. Then we'll attach the spray gun onto the end of your garden hose. Next, attach the cam lock fitting from the air pump onto the top of the barrel. Now we're ready to fill the barrel.
Next, plug in both of the air pumps. And take a look at the wonderful aeration created by the double pump system. Next, we'll fill the extractor bag with our compost ingredients. The recipe of compost ingredients you'll use will be determined by using your biologic systems recipe card. After adding the compost to the bag, roll the bag down and then you'll clip it shut. Now we're going to clip the bag into the carabiner located on the underside of the lid. Then we'll close the brewer and we're going to allow that tea bag to bubble inside the brewer for three to four hours. After allowing for the aeration time, now we'll perform the hand extraction where we simply knead the remaining amounts of compost through the bag into the water. So by the time you're done with the extraction process, you should have removed about 50% of the compost. Next we'll add the soluble seaweed powder. And it's helpful to dissolve it in a bucket first. Next, we'll add the fish hydrolysate. If making a compost extract batch for root application, add the granular mycorrhizal spores into the bio extractor bag. Roll down and buckle closed. Then perform the hand extraction of the mycorrhizal spores into the water, releasing the spores into the solution. Next, open the valve and allow water to flush through the line strainer, priming it, pushing out the air. Next, hook the line strainer onto the SureFlow spray pump. And plug the spray pump in. The SureFlow spray pumps have a pressure switch that will turn the pump on and off as you turn the spray gun on and off. This allows you to spray and then be able to stop and spray once again. The biobrewers can be used both for root applications, for root drenching and injecting into, directly into the root system, and for foliar spray application onto the plant canopy.